first and foremost, let's talk about your outlook for this club. What gives you the most excitement? Well, first and foremost, thank you for having me on the show. And uh, I'm glad that you, that you feel that way because we do too. Uh, we're not that far <laughs> off, man. I'm excited about our club, our, our pitching, our young pitching. Um, man, they all look good, you know, our young, young players. We added some, some guys we thought that could, that could uh, help us. Uh, on the field as well. So I'm excited about this group. I really am. I mean, uh, we got some really, really talented young players. I'm looking forward to getting to get to know them, build them uh, and get watch their maturity and their growth. You mentioned young players a couple of times, Dave. C.J. Abrams comes to mind. He is your starting shortstop, his first full year in the majors. What do you like the most about him in addition to his unbelievable speed? Yeah, he's got a lot of, he brings a lot of energy to our ball club. He really does. Uh, he's very smart, too. He understands baseball really, really well. So, uh, you know, we just got to keep him grounded. Uh, you know, he wants to do big things. Uh, we just got to tell him, hey, just play the game. Uh, he's exciting to watch, as we all know. So uh, we got him last year towards the end of the season. He, he made some, some drastic improvements. Uh, we talked to him a little bit about his swing. And I'm looking forward to getting him here all spring long and getting him going and getting ready for the season. He comes over in the Juan Soto trade, as does Mackenzie Gore, a young player with a great young arm. What, a bit, what about him do you think is the biggest upside? Man, he gives, he, he's a, he's a, for me, he's a power left-handed pitcher. Uh, I just watched him throw now a uh, live BP, and uh, the ball's coming out well. You know, we got him last year. We rehabbed him. Uh, he felt good enough to pitch, but we didn't want to put him out there in September. We just kind of wanted to hold him off. And now he's ready to go. So I'm excited uh, to get him started, get him cranking. Uh, but hey, he's got four, four pitch mix. Uh, he throw, like I said, he throws the ball fair, really hard. Uh, but his slider and change up really play. So we're excited to get him out there and watch him compete. K Bear Ruiz is behind the plate. He's going to be catching Gore among the other arms that you have on that staff. And you're very complimentary of your backstop. What do you think makes him the most effective behind the plate? Oh, he's really good. He's been getting better. I mean, he works diligently on, on his game calling, uh, on blocking balls, on throwing people out. Uh, and I hope this year, you know, after last year, full season of having him last year, uh, I know he got hurt at, you know, towards the end of the year last year. But um, he's got he's got this sense that he belongs here now, and, and that's a good thing. So uh, I've already seen a change in him, uh, the way he communicates to pitchers, the way he's going about his business. He has this routine. Uh, that he's been doing that we talked a lot about him just getting on a on a routine and he's brought a routine with him this year that's been impeccable so far so we're excited about him being behind the plate uh, staying healthy and, and helping us win some games you mentioned the communication and that's something I wanted to bring up to you about K Bear he's an introverted guy he's a quiet guy but it seems like he's taken a different step in terms of his communications and and being more of a vocal leader is that fair to say that's very fair to say. Uh, like I said, I've seen a, a big difference in this spring with him, just uh, just him communicating with the pitchers, even communicating with the younger catchers. Um, it's been really good, and uh, I think that's part of, like I said, him getting a full year last year, having some success, and now all of a sudden he, he, this, he's making this his own. So, And we told him, as I told him this morning, I said, hey, this is, this is your pitching staff, so uh, you got to get after with them. You got, you, know, you got to talk to them, you got to communicate with them every day and get on the same page. But I, I really think that, uh, you know, here in the near future, he's going to be one of our young leaders that steps up. We can't talk about the Nationals, Dave, without talking about Steven Strasburg. He is synonymous with Washington, and he's still having some difficulty coming back from that thoracic outlet syndrome. What more can you tell us about his progress? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, he's, he actually really... Uh, Man, he's worked harder than anybody to, tr to get back. He really has. He had a slight setback. Um, you know, he's going to go see some other specials here in, in the upcoming future. But you know, I'm, I'm not going to give up on this guy. I mean, he's, he's put the time in. Uh, we, you know, I've told him that there's, there's nothing you can do. You, know, you just got to keep working, and well, let's see what happens. But uh, you know, we, did bit, we did a lot of big things with Steven here. You know, we won a world championship. Uh, with him on the mound and pitching the way he pitches. You know, we miss him here. We really do. But um, this is about Steven Strasburg and his health. So uh, we're going to build him back up. Hopefully, you know, you know, we'll see him out here uh, throwing, throwing sides, throwing bullpens. Uh, don't have a specific date, but, you know, uh, we'll welcome that when he's ready.
Yeah, he is an important piece to that puzzle. He helped lead you guys to the World Series there in 2019. So the onus falls on your five starters in that starting staff. Do you need a bounce back year, Dave, from Patrick Corbin? Absolutely. Uh, he understands that. He knows that. Uh, so far this spring, he's really he's been throwing the ball really well. So um, I, I'm really expecting him to come back this year and uh, compete. You know, and that's all we can ask him: compete at the highest level, like he's done before. Um, he was a guy, and I, I still believe that he can be that guy. So I'm looking forward to him going back out there and competing again. What do you like about Cade Cavalli as well as Josiah Gray from what you've seen? Oh, they, they're attacking the strike zone. Uh, I know Cade, man. Cade, Cade's got good stuff. Uh, JoJo's got good stuff. You know, the biggest thing for us is get, getting the ball over strike. Don't strike one. Um, you know, we got to we got to get away from the non-competitive pitches and try to attack the strike zone uh, as much as possible with those two young guys. But they got great stuff. That all important strike one, Dave Martinez, entering your sixth season as the manager of the Washington Nationals. We appreciate your time. Best of luck this year, Skip. Thank you so much. It's good talking to you.